Hey, this is the old gaming geezer. Welcome along, gamer geeks. Uh, I want to tell you a little story. I'm recording this in September 2014. And two years ago, in 2012, I made a decision. A very, very difficult decision. And that decision was to not support a particular Kickstarter. Why? Because I'd been burned in the past. And I didn't want to get burned again. Let's go back in time a little bit. Let's go back in time a lot. 31 years to 1983. The story starts when my father decided to buy a computer because while he was old and born in 1921, he was very, very tech savvy and he knew that computers would be important in the future. He could see their growth throughout the 70s with Apple and IBM. And so he decided to buy a computer and he did a lot of research and he decided to buy a BBC microcomputer. In that time, shortly after we bought it, I managed to get my hands on games. Uh, previous to that, I'd been playing coin-up games like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Defender, Moon Patrol, all great games. But shortly after we got the BBC microcomputer, I discovered a game that had been out for about a year, and this game changed everything. Unlike all the other games I'd played, this game gave me choices gave me the, the ability to play the game how I wanted to play it. I could be whatever I wished within the confines of the game. I could be anything. I was young. I was 12, 13 maybe, I don't recall exactly. So I didn't know the ins and outs of the games industry at the time. I didn't know that what I was looking at changed everything. And what I was looking at and what I was playing and what I was experiencing was elite. Games have come and gone. But very few games change the industry. I can think of a handful, to be honest. Elite, Pong, Doom, and the importance of those games to the gaming industry cannot be overstated. And so in 2012, I made a decision. Frontier Developments, owned by David Braben, one of the two writers of the original Elite, announced a Kickstarter campaign for Elite Four, shortly afterwards renamed Elite Dangerous. Now we had had in the 1990s, we had had uh, in, I believe it was 1994, we had Frontier Elite Two, which was a pretty good game. And shortly after that, a couple of years later, I think it was 1996, we had Frontier First Encounters, which is officially Elite Three. And Frontier First Encounters was uh, a very problematic game. It was very buggy on release. And um, I don't think it was ever properly properly patched to be stable. And so in 2012, when Elite Dangerous was announced and that Frontier Developments were going to do a Kickstarter campaign, I was torn. Frontier was good, but not what I wanted. First Encounters, I found it unplayable. And so I watched and I waited as Elite Dangerous was kickstarted and went into development. And now two years have passed and I can wait no more. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, oh, wait, too fast, too fast, too fast. Ah, big monkey testicles.